The Old Man in the Sea, <clears throat> part 29, second part of part 29. Um, it was dark now, as it becomes dark quickly after the sun sets in September. He lay against the worn wood of the bow and rested all that he could. The first stars were out. He did not know the name of Rigel, but he saw it he saw it and knew soon they would all be out and he would have all his distant friends. Of course, Rigel is the name of an important star. That appears very clearly in this guy. The context gives us that, right? Uh, the fish is my friend too, he said aloud. I have never seen or heard of such fish, but I must kill him, and I'm glad we do not have to try to kill the stars. Imagine if each day a man must try to kill the moon, he thought. The moon runs away, but imagine if a man each day should have to try to kill the sun. We were born lucky, he thought. Then he was sorry for the great fish that has, sorry, that had nothing to eat, and his determination to kill him never relaxed in his sorrow for him. How many people will he feed, he thought. But are they worthy to eat him? No, of course not. There is no one worthy of eating him from the manner of his behavior and his great dignity. Uh, I think this part is interesting. It is analogous to a very interesting scene in uh, uh, the Iliad. What is the point? The point is, even though you know he has pity, he feels sorrow, you know, for the fish, he knows that it's her, it's his duty to kill the fish, and then. You know, it's like separate, separate things, you know, I feel very sorry that I have to do it, but I have to do it, okay? Um, well, thinking on that, I don't know if it's too analogous, but uh, there, there's a scene in I Iliad I, I really like, that is, uh, Achilles in, is in battle, right? And suddenly, you know, he fights another warrior, and uh, the, or the warrior falls to the ground, and uh, of course clearly Achilles has won at that moment the warrior holds Achilles's knees you know this is a sign of bag begging in uh, in uh, in Greek old Greek culture right so the guy held Achilles's knees looked at him and begged for his life and then I think um, uh, the translation of uh, the Iliad was that Pious, pious Achilles killed his enemy, you know, and uh, well, pious in Portuguese uh, is a much more common word than it sounds in English, right? That is piedoso, pious, and then you look at that and you say, what? So pious Achilles, why pious? Because, you know, the guy was there begging for his life and uh, Achilles just went on and killed him. Uh, but we have to understand that for a, a Greek, you know, being pious doesn't mean uh, being sorry for everybody or, you know, stop, st uh, stopping yourself from doing what you, you must. It means obeying the gods, you know, it means doing what you must do, all right? He's in battle, he must kill his enemy. So he goes there and kills his anima, enemy and he's pious because of that, because he is doing what he should be doing. Okay. <clears throat> and think about it, even though nobody is worthy of eating the fish, oh my battery is going to end, sorry guys, there will be a third part uh, for this video.